All right, everyone, welcome to another episode of Borderland Sports Report. I am joined here by Timothy Pastron, a.k.a. Zeke. Sir. Welcome to the show, Timothy. Thank you for having me. All right, I got to remember, you told me you go by Zeke. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's get into this. Um, so what, what has been the biggest change for you? So you've, what, three-year varsity starter? Yes, sir. Going into your, so this is your fourth year? Yes, sir. So what was the biggest adjustment for you coming in and playing right away as a freshman? Oh, I wasn't as a freshman, I'm sorry. No, as a fresh, sophomore. Sophomore, yes, okay. Sir. So what was that big, what was the adjustment? Um, I think just believing in yourself, really. Because, like, you know, a scrawny sophomore coming in, I was like, dang, I'm playing with these big boys. It's a whole different speed, it's a whole different game. And I was just like, I just need to believe in myself more. Like, the biggest adjustment is just, like, understanding, like, I got to have this guy's back and they're yeah. going to have mine. I okay. think that was the biggest change for me. Is that, like we have to like come together like that. And you had a really good sophomore year too. Yes, sir. Um, you were all district. Uh, defensive newcomer of the year. Yeah. So defensive newcomer of the year. Then this past year, you all district. Yes, sir. Um. Like, who's been the biggest influence on you as a player um, to make that change and to, 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 to really fuel that growth? Mm. As from my teammates, it's probably one of the seniors that graduated. His name's Cameron Payne. He okay. was a pretty good influence on me. Like, he just helped me out. He really, like my sophomore year, he really took me under his wing and like said, hey, like this is what you gotta do, okay. this and this and that. But outside of that, my dad, he's just a real big influence on me to keep pushing myself to like, never just like be okay with being all district here, like try to come all city, all state, stuff like that. Just my dad's really been pushing me to become my best, I think so. Okay, okay. So what motivates you? Like, like what is your driving force? I mean, I get other people pushing mm -hmm. you, but like, what makes you want to compete in the classroom, on the football field? Like, wh what is it? I just, I just want to be like the best that I can be. Okay. I think my parents have done a good job like raising me and everything and I want to be able to like provide for them when I'm older and like take care of them when they're in their 50s and their 60s and not have to worry about anything else. Okay, okay. Parents might be closer to 50 than you think. <laughs> <That's not> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that. 
Mom's gonna be all mad at me. <laughs> so now, so let, let's let's talk about. So what what do your grades look like? Uh, a B right now. A B. Okay. Yes, what's the what's your GPA? Uh, three point five. Three point five. That's 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 respectable. Yes, that's really respectable. Still gotta work on it. Um, what are your plans as far as your goals for this year for not only for yourself but for Chapin? Uh, for Chapin. Grade-wise, I want to get all A's. I want to strive for all A's my senior year. And then sports, I want to be able to compete in every sport that I can, whether it's basketball, track, football. I just want to put myself out there and be like, oh, I helped this program grow. Okay. That's like a big goal for me, just see okay. Chapin striving. Like this year, I think we did a good job. You know, we won district in almost every single sport. Okay. I, I just love to see that for Chapin, honestly. So you play football? Track. Track? Yes, sir. And basketball? Uh, this year, no. No, okay. But yes. So football and track, okay. Yes, so what did, what did you do in the track? What did you do in track? Four by one and four by two. Four by one, okay. The relays. Yeah. Gotcha. Fun stuff. <laughs> now, you're a strong safety or, or free safety? Free safety. Free safety. Yes, sir. Six three. Yes, sir. Um, how was how did COVID impact you guys this year as far as preparation and? And, and really, you as a player, like, how did that, like, yeah. not knowing, like, how did that impact you? Um, honestly, workouts, they just switched from going in person and competing with each other to you're over a camera. And you had to learn how to grab your own weight where there was a backpack with some books in it, mm -hmm. something like that. You just had to find something to make push yourself like that. But mentally, it was, it was a little tough, just like, because you want to be out there so bad, and you yeah. know you could, but you just can't because we were shut down for so long. And it was just like, I want to be out there, but I'm forced to stay at home and do my own little thing here. Yeah, now, so you brought up something there. So this school year has been either virtual or in person. So which, which option did you take? I chose virtual. Virtual. How has that worked out for you? It's not the same. <laughs> it's not fun at all. No, it's just like... It just takes like the fun out of school, like seeing other people and like walking around, seeing your friends in class, seeing them through the hallways. Like it takes the interaction away, and it's just yeah. like you're stuck in front of a screen for five hours a day, and it's, it's not really that fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's been interesting seeing that that work out, even in my own household, with my son being a junior and then my daughter being in eighth grade, and kind of seeing how the two have really. One has thrived in it. Mm -hmm. The other one, she's like, whatever, right? Because yeah. there's no one really to to to, to push you. There's mm -hmm. no like, and so it's been. A, it's it's definitely. I can understand that the struggle that has been. Um, some students have thrived in it. Some haven't. And it's just. I'm sure you guys are just ready for school to just oh, yeah. this year to be over and to get going back next year. That's okay. right. So. I'm gonna ask you this question. I haven't asked anybody else this. So, what are your thoughts on how the school districts snuck in making school year round? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I was kind of shocked when they started like saying like it's gonna be year round. What district does that? Uh, like Isleta? all the well, it was Socorro. Socorro, Socorro was the original one. Yes. Yeah. And I've had friends from there, and they're like, "Yeah, it's pretty good. Like you get two weeks off every now and then, and this, this, and that." And I was like. Okay, I, I kind of like summer though, like yeah. that long gap. But I, I guess I'm okay with it. Yeah. My senior year, just gonna try it, I guess. But it probably won't be the same. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said, man, they didn't snuck around in May school year round. This mm. is crazy. They took the, they right, took though. COVID and used it to to tr just change the schedule. You think that's why? Just like I, I don't hey. know if that's what it is, but I'm just saying, like in essence, that's what happened. Is mm. like they took the opportunity to just change the schedule and make it everything it. and they, they did it did. right they did it <laughs> yes sir so how has that impacted you guys as far as football preparation and everything like has it has it been any change mm, no i don't think so okay i really don't think there's been a change we still have a clock on the wall showing our next game yeah i don't think it's changed much really just yeah just, just been out there just in class right yeah. <laughs> just short of the summers. classroom now <laughs> um so you guys are finishing up spring ball yes sir are you playing seven on seven uh yes this year we are okay okay uh, now are you um playing both sides of the ball yes sir so you not only free safety but wide receiver yes sir okay and you did that your sophomore year too right uh junior year junior i was year? soft well wide receiver and safety 
Okay. Yeah. How how'd you like that? It was fun. The offensive side is definitely like something you have to like be comfortable with. Yeah. But I think halfway through I was getting comfortable with it, and I think right now I'm like really good with it right now. Okay. Playing both sides of the ball. Okay. So now you 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 looking senior year? How's your recruiting going? Um, so far, I've talked to a couple schools, but nothing like too serious. And you know, it's all right. I know I got another year to work for it and go earn a scholarship if mm -hmm. anything. So See, I'm still staying positive through it. Hitting up the camps in the in the showcase circuits. Uh, yes, there's a couple camps that are coming here. Yeah, the Tarlington one at the SAC. There's one at Franklin going to happen in like a month. So I'm going to start going out there. Maybe go to a couple in San Antonio just to see like the, how they compete down there. And you got, got to put yourself out there, yeah, man. You really do. <laughs> you got to put yourself out there. It's. I'll, I always say, you know, as a coach, why would I fly over Dallas, San Antonio, Houston to fly into El Paso, mm -hmm. right? And so sometimes you've got to put yourself out there and, and, and bet on yourself, right? Yeah. And so going to those showcases and camps and really – Putting your name out there. You got to compete with those schools yeah, down there. You got to sure. compete. Because, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough being out here, isolated out here in El Paso by ourselves, but there's a lot of talent here. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that the more we showcase that talent and the more that players like yourself go to these places and, and show that there's talent here in El Paso, it's only going to help the recruitment for those that come after you, yes, sir. as well as yourself. Um, so you're a gamer? Mm, not not too much, no. Not too much. No, I don't play. I don't like to play games a lot. Okay, okay. What, what do you What do you like to do in your spare time? Just work out. <laughs> just work out. Yeah, I don't. I don't have fun with anything else really. Like I really just like working out. Like seeing your body change and like mm -hmm. seeing yourself change like that. I think it's okay. like that's like fun for me. Okay, okay. So what do you want to major in in college? Uh, I changed it so many times. I don't even know. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon, though. That's been my latest, like, orthopedic surgeon. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and play football? Yeah. I know. That's, that's going to be a lot. It'll be fun. So why orthopedic surgery? Uh, I broke my carbone recently. Uh -huh. And I was just, like, being around there and, like, the doctor still being a team doctor for UTEP and being around football and all mm -hmm. that stuff. I was like, I can see myself doing that. Did, I know the school is going to be hard. And did you ask him if he played football in college? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't, but <laughs> I guess I'm going to change that. Hey, uh, I always tell people, hey, go after your dream. Pursue yeah. your dreams. Um, and I mean, it, you know, at, at, if that's what you want to do, it, it may be that you, you might have to go to a smaller mm -hmm. school to do that, right? I know uh, my friend's doing it for an orthopedic surgeon right now mm -hmm. at MSU. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if I need any help, just go hit him up real quick and see what he has for me. There you go. There you go. Um, so what's like, as you start going through your recruitment process and really starting to narrow down schools, how, how, what is that process looking like for you as far as the criteria, things that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's got to have. Everybody's got their, their, their cut line, their, their dues, their, their, their likes, their dislikes. Yeah. Like, how does that process working for you? Honestly, right now, I don't. I wouldn't mind where the college is. Like, I'm pretty like so comfortable with going anywhere. With. Yeah, like I'm okay with going anywhere as long as like they're paying for my school and helping me with my education. But other than that, like, there's nothing. I'm real picky with. Okay. What well, if they tell you you got to play like another position? I'll do anything <laughs> just to get my school paid for. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Meet me on the old line. I'll get there. Playing some center. Up. <laughs> Voke up a little bit. <laughs> yes, sir. So what has been, like, so as you make this transition and the leadership side, like mm -hmm. you're a senior now. Oh, yeah. Um, what, what has been your leadership style? What's going to be your leadership style in, in trying to lead this, this Chapin team to reach some of the, the team goals that you guys have? I'm definitely one of the more vocal leaders. Like, I really like hyping my guys up, yelling at them, like, cheering each other on. Like, that's, that's like, me. I'm, like, real energetic. The raw, raw guy. Yeah, I'm like, hey, let's go. Like, let's have fun. Let's cheer people on, get hyped during hitting drills, like, stuff like that. Um, that's the type of leader I am, like. I'll help you out 
anything you need. Like, I'll yell at you. If you want me to lead by example, I'll go first. I'll go out there and I'll put myself on there for you. Okay. But I, I like to do anything for my team, really, just to see them get better. Got you. Got you. So in, in closing here, um, what, what are some of the things that you want a coach to take away as they leave here to know about Zeke? I want them to know that I'm a hard worker. Like, I'm willing to do anything it takes to re reach my goal. Like, I've been working hard since I can remember. Okay. That's just, like, part of who I am. Uh, I want them to know that I'm a good team player. I'm willing to play any position, any role you want me to. I'll, I'll be down for it no matter what. Okay. Okay, good stuff. Well, this has been Timothy Pastron, folks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Borderlands Sports Report. Um, have a good one. Be blessed.